All right, welcome back to Snipe City Cards. We've got some people ask, what do we do to pre-grade the cards? A couple of things, take a look at them obviously. Corners, everything like that. Make sure you got good edges. If you see any slight blemishes on the card, you can try and clean it off a little bit. Be very careful, use microfiber. Kind of the same stuff that you clean your glasses with. Um, so I've kind of just written a few things potentially to, uh, to pre-grade some of these. Um, we'll see what happens. This Ilya Sorokin is probably the nicest cut card I've seen. Seems centered. So we got this centering tool, uh, Passive Paradise. On some of the, like, some of these cards, are, they're a lot easier to tell. Here, let's grab one that doesn't have some stickers on it. Um, and you just want to line up the corners here. And then you just want to, like, look at the lines of the shape. So left to right looks to be both sitting close to the four. Top to bottom. It's got a bit of a design on the top, but... Looks to be on the three and the three. Uh, back's a little bit tougher to tell on this card, but you guys get the general idea. That's kind of what we end up doing to center this card. So this card's pretty centered, pretty spot on. It's a bit tougher to do with uh, these young guns that don't have a border. I think this card's a little low on centering. So what I find I'm doing with borderless cards is I use the upper deck logo, and uh, and you'll see it on the back as well. And just kind of where the young guns, I don't know if you guys see that on the bottom right there. It seems to me that a good centered card, uh, I could be wrong on this, has the upper deck logo kind of sitting on the three. The three is the, on the top left here, that's the solid line there. Uh, so you can look at this, the logo sitting pretty good on both edges, of the both points on the three. And then if you look at the bottom right, it looks like the young guns is sitting nicely on the five there with the W on the winger sitting kind of close to the three. So I'm not, I'm still kind of working this out, but it kind of looks like if you've got a nicely centered card, none of the main detail will be within the three. So like the T on Tim doesn't start before the three, the upper deck logo doesn't start before the three, and same thing, the left winger there, the W. You can kind of look at it on the back as well, same kind of thing, basing it at like the 482. I think this card might sit a little low that 482 is really not right at the top. I don't know how well or how sticky they are, but even at the bottom, the NHL PA is a little below that three line. That's my guess. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, just throwing that out there for you. But one other thing we've been working on for at least taking a look at pre-grading our cards is this guy here. There you go. So this guy is a digital microscope. has the ability to telescope up and down. Um, to get a closer view of the card. Let's just pick something at random. Just uh, Nick Bodan, uh, Platinum and whatnot. So check this out. You can really get in there and get some very strong detail. So you can see the detail on the card here. The top edge looks pretty consistent. There you go, top right corner looking pretty sharp. You can go down along the bottom edge. There's your bottom right corner, a little sharp and so not too bad, all things considered. Um, we can also in all the way up. And what that's doing is giving us a further view away from the card. So being further away from the card, we'll actually get more of a view. Let's uh, adjust it there. So like in the screen, you can see almost the entire font of marquee rookies. Whereas if we drop this down substantially, you know, now the entire field of view doesn't even get the word rookie in there. So just an extra tool that we got for, uh, for trying to help us out a little bit. All right, let's get to the giveaway. So part five, last video, we're going to put all the entries in here and let's see Boom, there you go. FNO Respect, you are the winner. Congratulations. Send us an email, snipecitycards at gmail.com. Your prize is four sealed upper deck packs. Now, part six for this video, the prize will be the 15-card complete set of Team Canada Championship medals. All you got to do to win is comment anything you want and hashtag snipecitycard6. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. All our giveaways are only available to subscribers. And don't forget 
that every comment that you put on a video and hashtag the proper hashtag gets you a ballot entry for the end of the month big giveaway so don't forget about that as always guys thanks for watching